Good morning, Columbia. We know you're ready to play and that you've even brought a ball with you. So I guess it's time to go spacewalking. You got that right. We'll have a ball playing with the ball. And it's not center field with the Yankees, but it's the next best thing. Can't have everything. This view from one of the payload bay cameras looking up at the shuttle's robotic arm attached to the uh, Spartan satellite, the red uh, dots on the satellite, uh, the targets that will be used for this uh, experiment operations with the video guidance sensor. And this experiment uh, using the Spartan satellite as a target and will collect uh, tracking data both when the target is moving and also when the uh, satellite is uh, in a static or a fixed position. And as mentioned, the orbiter will be maneuvered as well uh, to allow the video guidance sensor's performance to be tested under different lighting conditions, also uh, 16 different positions as well as distances uh, by maneuvering the robotic arm to various locations uh, around the payload bay. The video guidance sensor testing uh, uh, visible now uh, with the uh, laser targeting underway. This is uh, position number seven. Through uh, the mid-deck input and through payload three, uh, apparently the flight deck input is on a different camera. And that's it. Certainly is. And that config is good for us. Go ahead. Yeah, and uh, auto position number 50 uh, dropped out, broke lock. I uh, watched it for a while, and it's uh, getting lock and then breaking lock. It's just kind of going back and forth. We copy. And I'm proceeding on to the next point. Copy and concur.
Okay, here we go. And that was successful. I have a, a successful soft dock. They, uh, again, there is compliance in the crate. It moves a little bit, but not very much. I just made maybe six or eight inches before I got soft dock. I'm going to release it and try that same uh, thing one more time. Okay, it's released. It's back in soft dock. I'll do the same thing. Now, of course, I'm looking underneath the cable caddy at the grid and the dogs to be sure that I line them up before I insert it. But here we go again. And I have soft dock. That was good. I'd give it an A for the small ORU. That was real nice. But yeah, would you yell the crane just a bit more towards me, please? Okay. Yell the crane towards you. That's good. Thank you. Stop. Right there. Okay, the fire dogs are in, and I'm going to rock it. Yeah, I got a good, successful soft dock the second time with the sideways. I've got A4, I need 3 counterclockwise, and uh, MTL is 23.5, Casey? Yes, Vincent, all of those are good, and it's going to take 5 turns. 5 turns, right to that, here we go. Okay, and there's five turns, and uh, and I'm sure you're watching the KC, and, and maybe you some, but you could see the uh, work site move away from me as I attempted to depress the uh, the guard that to drive the boat. But it only moved maybe a foot, and I was able to do it successfully. Columbia Houston, you have a go for sprint release. Roger, Winston, you have a go to release. Okay, Steve, here we go. I've released it, and I'm moving back out of the way.
And Steve, we got good video down here. We got excellent video down here. Great. Back to uh, step six, pulse size of 300. Columbia Houston uh, for Sprint uh, to give you guys a target we would like to initiate step 14 at 1740 in 20 minutes copy and Houston Columbia uh, just like to pass on to the entire Sprint team you know it's a real small group of people working on this and they work very hard and uh, I think we got a real winner here. They hit a home run. Uh, you can pass on that the lines uh, were definitely level one. Uh, it flew even better than I expected. So we're real pleased, and I think we got a real good piece of technology for use maybe on a station and later shuttle flights. 